Blimey, a little bit of rain looks made these uh, runa beans grow really well. Are they waist tight? Just over waist tight, look. Awesome. Soon have beans on there. Tomato plants going yellow at the bottom. I don't know why. Perhaps it's because it's next to the marigolds. Anyway, anyway I've been out and doing a bit of scrap today. A bit of scrap, boy! <coughs> Yeah, got four laptops, broken. This is a funny little thing, I've never come across one of these. It's got like a little release button here that you can pull across and it spins. Top. Yeah, take that name off of there. You've probably seen it anyway. Tough book. Yes, yeah, so we've got a bit of cable as well, and a battery. Yeah, mate, nice car battery. And who don't like a bit of copper pipe? I'll probably end up keeping a few of these after the um, troubles I had with the furnace burner, hunting around looking for fittings. I'll probably keep it some, but uh, it's good. Got that olive. Does that fit on that size pipe? No, that one. I don't know, probably scrap it all. These are funny little things. Those are their little jumpers for jumping across from one to the next, I don't know. Under taps, is it? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so we've got a bit of decorating to do as well, so I thought I'd grab those, but they don't fit on that one, so might even have a roller for that. And who don't like a bit of free PTFE toe? So all this we got today. Check out that thing. Yeah, still had a bit of a uh, bit of power left in it. <clears throat> and that is air compressor Rothberg as well. That's probably for testing radiators and systems, is it? Rather than being a compressor for your bike or your car. Might be able to use it for that. I wonder what PSI it goes up to. Uh, yeah, look, 100 psi, seven by, seven bar. Rothenberg, Rothenberger, Rothenberger. Ah, it's good, Mike. Good promise, Mike. But um, I don't know how they make electrical tools. We'll soon find out. Looks a bit cheap. Nice Makita drill. Maybe going for scrap. It's old, isn't it? I don't know if that's going to be any good. 2006. I've probably got a charger and some batteries and another drill for that somewhere. Yeah, we've got some electricals. So there's a nice little bit of brass and stuff in there that'll strip out. A bit of circuit board. It's like a new staple gun look. Brand new. Crazy. Anyone want a staple gun? It's got the top bit missing for the... Um, it's the amount of pressure, isn't it? Screw it in and it gets like uh, harder. Perhaps it took those for the. Uh... No, it didn't. It's normal staples. Well, that's the cable ones for the <coughs> phone lines, isn't it? Anyway, yeah. Bit of copper, bit of brass. Love it. And this little beauty, which is a record. Record number one. I think this isn't really Snobby's type of thing, is it? I know he collects these, and I've got loads of vices. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like a rhino, doesn't it? It's a hefty little thing. But Record is a really good make. And it says one ton. I've never seen the ton on there before, so... Is that how they work out the vices? Like a number two would be two ton. Because I did break my old number eight, didn't I? Dahlia. Which is in there, look. My old number eight. Oh, I was gutted when that broke. That's got a big old um, vice on that, look. Grip. That was like six or seven inches. Yeah, a little bit of heavy iron. In with the pansies. <laughs> Thank you.
Look at that fever for you, man. It's looking good. You want a snobby sunflowers? Ah, it's snobby sunflowers. Let's have a quick look. These are doing quite well. Look at that. Almost getting too big to look down in the tops. But that is a healthy sunflower. So we've got these were self-seeded from last year in the compost. We've got a few more sun, uh, snobbies at the back there. Let's go on a snobby sunflower hunt. So we've got one here, another one there. And we've got two more here. But the slugs have been getting hold of that. They've been climbing up the, the tank and eating my leaves. So I'll come out at night time and uh, pull them off. And chuck them into the chickens. Yeah, no sunflowers around here. Where else to be having? There's another one. Ah, there was one we put over here. In with the bird table. You like that? They're looking good. And a couple over there. This one, right, I've never seen this before. Two stalks. Look at that look, out of one seed. Never seen that happen before. That looks like I might need a bit of top dressing on there. The roots are showing. But once it gets a little bit bigger, I'll tie it to this thing. Yeah, so I was well happy. Oh, we picked this up as well. I pulled that out of the skip. I don't know if it works. But it's one of them hose lock sprinklers. Never know. Plug it in, it works. Use it or give it away. And look, me pirate treasure. I've been doing um, SMD zinc coins. These were the first ones I did without the design on. And then I carved that SMD into it. But um, I'm going to do an improvement on the mould yet. These are all just trial stuff. Be nice and copper and brass though. And what I'll probably try and do is offer them out for sale, you know. Just just give me a couple of quid each on them. Out to my subscribers, if anyone's interested, that is. But I'll do a video. We'll get some made up in copper and brass and see how they turn out first. So, there we have it. A nice table full of goodies. <laughs> Snobby, if you watch this, let me know if that's your type of thing. It's, uh, what is that, four-inch jaw? Record number one or one ton. Record. I think you're more into the uh, smaller ones that bolt to the top of the desk with a like a little clamp, you know. Like that sort of thing, you know. You know? Oh, like three inch post. Never turn down a bit of uh, three inch post, especially when it's new. Heavily galvanised, but I'll use that. That'll come in use somewhere. Anyway, thanks for watching my little uh, video of my winnings. And uh, I'll see you all later. Bye bye.